Hi everyone, it's Elaine Spielberg from Ballet Met here to bring you another craft that you can do at home. Today we're going to learn how to make sylph wings for the ballet La Selfide. Let's get started. First of all, let me stress that if you don't have the things that I have to make this craft, don't worry. I don't want you to ask your parents to go out to the store or buy anything. What I want you to do is to really think creatively of what you have around your house that will help you to design the best wings that you can with what you already have. Well, if you're going to make yours like mine, this is what we'll need. You have a cardboard piece of, a uh, big piece of cardboard, and you'll also need pencil to make the outline of your wings, and then scissors to cut it out. And then I painted mine, so I chose from different colors of paint. I put my paint on a paper plate, and then I used lids from my recycling bin to make the circles. You'll also need, um, I used dryer sheets. I had plenty of these laying around after I did my laundry. Um, you could also use tissue paper or if your parents say it's okay, you can use tissue. Um, did I say scissors? You need scissors to cut out the wings, and please have an adult assistant to help you with that. And, um, and at the end, you're going to need a long piece of ribbon that you'll cut in two. Now, if you don't have uh, this length of ribbon, think about um, the wrapping paper ribbon that we used from our last craft in the tutu. You can also use markers if you don't want to go through the, the hassle of using the paint. Um, markers, you can decorate it any way you want to. Be creative. All right, guys. So let's get started straight away. What we're going to do is take this large piece of cardboard and fold it in half. Now that it's folded in half, I want you to take your pencil and draw the wings that you want to do. Okay. And now let's start cutting out. you have an adult who can help you to cut out the cardboard. It can be a little bit tricky. I certainly don't want you to cut yourselves. The nice thing about cutting the cardboard is that if you find that they are too large, you can always cut it down a little bit until you get the shape exactly that you want. I would recommend leaving a little bit of space <clears throat> between the sides because that will be the backing of your wings. Okay, once we get here now, we're going to actually fold that side of the wing over to the other side and use it as a stencil. So now we're going to just trace with our pencil. And then continue to cut out your wings. Now if you decide you're not interested in making silk wings, you can always make these butterfly wings. It's a very appropriate time of the year to be using butterfly wings. This is a nice craft to do again at Halloween time. It's a really nice and easy way to just add something simple like wings to your costume. do again with your adult assistant very carefully put four holes in it watch your fingers below so you don't poke yourself and this is going 
going to be where we put our ribbons later. Okay, so now pick the paint that you are interested in. I'm going to pull up my sleeves here so I don't get anything on my clothes. <clears throat> and dab a little bit on your plate. I still like the gray. I'm gonna use the gray and the lavender. take your larger lid and just dip it into the into one of your colors I'm just doing right around the edge okay and then what you're going to do is is place it down you can reapply the paint in between until you have made four circles on your wings. There we go. And then take the smaller lid and put it in your other color. And again, this is where you can be creative. You don't have to do exactly as I'm doing, but I'm putting my uh, lighter color, the lavender, in the middle of the gray one. You can go all around. You can use a paintbrush. You can make lines. And then I'm also going to paint the inside of the wings. I'm just using my finger. Now if you have embellishments and gems at home, if you have stickers, you can feel free to use any of that stuff on your wings. to take our glue and we're just going to put it all over the wings. Make sure to get the edges kind of well. start taking your used dryer sheets and apply it to the wings. Just lay it down flat. If it goes over the edge just a little bit, that's not a problem. And then you're going to want to press it down. So you can feel the glue underneath and it's, it's spreading out. That's exactly what you want so that your dryer sheet stays on there. And you can stick it down onto the uh, paint below. If the pieces have overlapped, you might need to add a little bit of glue in between the layers of dryer sheets. One thing I see is that I've covered my holes now with the dryer sheet, so I'm going to go back and just poke through right now. All right, <clears throat> so
So right now, yours looks something like this. What you'll do is wait for it to dry, and then you're going to trim off the edges there so that it's nice and flush with the edge of your wings. Now I'm going to use the wings that I already completed to show you what to do with the ribbons. So take your long piece of ribbon and you'll need two that are the exact same length. So this one is about four and a half feet, probably. Starting on the outside of your wings, choose one of the holes and you're going to go down into it. And pull the ribbon from below and then go diagonally down into the next hole. take the other ribbon and do the exact same thing on the other two holes. This is a really nice activity to do with an adult with another sibling nice and simple and in the end you have something that you can really use for um, for playing around with okay so now you have your crisscross there on the front and on the back you have the four strings coming through now this you're going to um, need another person to help you because you'll actually place it on your back and then figure out where you need to wrap it so I'm, I'm estimating going to need to be about right here. And just make a nice little bow. And there you are. You have your wings. So let's talk a little bit about the ballet La Selfie. You learned from the last video about the tutus that La Selfie was choreographed in 1832 for the famous dancer Marie Taglioni. During the Romantic era, there were two main character types that you saw on stage. One was the sylph and the other was the, lily, the willy. Sylphs were female wood nymphs with wings and they wore a characteristic tutu. Do you remember that from last time? That's right, it was the long ankle, ankle length uh, white tutu. Dances during this time focused on earthly, soft, and folkloric dances performed by characters that were ghostly and mystical. Oh, there's my dog, Winston. Dancers wanted to appear weightless, like they could fly. So why did this happen? In life, people were obsessed with the idea of raising oneself higher in society to have higher status. And when art imitates life, the philosophies of the times are translated onto the stage as well. In fact, in 1795, a man named Charles Didelot even made in a, a flying machine so that dancers who were attached to wires could fly across the stage. By the time La Selfide was choreographed by Filippo Taglioni, dancers were wearing point shoes without the support of the wires and it took their own brute strength to get them up on their toes. They also donned in this ballet a pair of wings to give them that appearance that they were flying. This must have been quite spectacular. So now you have your own pair of sylph wings and after your wings have dried, you can put them on, put on some music and practice your own soft dances being a wood nymph. Have a great time, everyone. We'll see you next time.